my name is Luz Diaz and I was originally born in Jalisco, Mexico. I came to this country, to the U.S. Uh, at age three with my mother. This picture uh, was taken uh, the, de the last December that I spent with my sisters and after this I didn't see them for about four years. The reason we left Mexico, uh, my grandfather's political opponent uh, had uh, murdered him. And so my mother was afraid to live in a country where she couldn't offer a better opportunity for her, you know, as a single mother. So my mother uh, used to work as a migrant worker picking grapes. And at the age four, I was separated from her because she got deported. So I ended up staying with, with a family at, during the time, which uh, was taught me how to speak English. And then at age five, I went into kindergarten. I did not reunite with my mother and my two sisters until age eight, okay? I've been to so many different schools all over California. Even though we were reunited, she, we would always be moving because a migrant worker has to work different jobs or you know minimum wage or um, wherever she could find a job, we would just move to a new place uh, at that age. But I have a picture of, of us when we were reunited and our, our stepfather's taking a picture. You can see the shadow in his picture. and. They were uh, picking grapes. Now, usually the kids, you know, they usually left us like at Motel 6, uh, you know, the management didn't know we were, because it was air conditioned. But that day, uh, they decided to take me with them because it was payday. And payday meant, to me, it meant, you know, oh, I could have a hamburger. <laughs> mm -hmm. Instead of them, him getting paid, uh, his employers called uh, immigration and he was deported and I witnessed that. I remember the immigration officer like kind of blending in with the gray, the same color green with the grapevines and then he, he had blue eyes and you know my impression of him was like I could see through him because his, his eyes were like the, the blue sky you know so I'm like I could see through him and he's empty. This is what I thought my impression. Yeah. Ever since age 16 I was, I've been in healthcare. I, 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 I was a nursing assistant. I've always enjoyed helping others. Um, at age 18, I wanted to join the service, but I was not able to because, of course, I was still undocumented. I couldn't go to college because I was still undocumented. So I was an Ill illegal, so I felt invisible. And uh, eventually, I, I, when I finally got my residency, I did join the, uh, the Navy Reserves. Okay, I recently graduated as a nurse, and I'll be taking boards. I'll be studying on the train. And I'm very proud to be a U.S. citizen. I was really fortunate that out of thousands of people that were there at the L.A. Convention Center, I was chosen to go. They asked me to wear my uniform, and I went way to the front, and they actually said my name and said, you know, before she even, before she became a United States citizen, she was willing to serve this country. So I was really proud of that. <laughs> I have three, a 21-year-old, 12, and 5-year-old. I would like them to grow up independent, and, and this is the place to do it. Walk a little bit in my shoes and, and to get, get to know me, get to know me, and, and you will know that immigrants are here I'm an, to build this country. We love this country, and I just want to share my story, because besides the different things that, that happen, and the deportation, and living in the ghettos, <laughs> uh, whatever happened in my life, is. This is the greatest country. People don't know how fortunate they are to just live here. You know, being in Mexico, you may have land and money, but it's if there's corruption and if people want your land, they just come to you with a gun and they take over. And, and here, they don't have the liberties that we do in other countries. So we're very fortunate. And, and people that are born here are blessed. And I, I just wish they knew that. And I want to share my story so, so people know how fortunate that they're, they live in a wonderful country. Yes, thank you. It's so lucky to live in LA. You you get to learn different cultures, and you just absorb the best of a little bit of everything. So the Korean culture taught me discipline. It taught me how to redirect. Because during my teens, moving around a lot, and I can relate to a lot of foster kids that move around a lot. You know, it kind of breaks you. You're you're you feel unwanted. And so you grow up with a lot of anger in, my, in your teens, okay? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, meeting Robert Lee, and he, a Korean man, and he, he taught me uh, the discipline, self-discipline. And through that, I learned the art, you know, to love the art of, of discipline and believing in yourself and, and loving.